What's up, YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. Show you some recent cracks. Today's the cars that I found today. I opened some of them up, not all of them, but I opened up some of them. So I figured I'd show you guys what they look like out of the package. First one up is this ugly treasure hunt. This gold duck. If you guys can take a look at it out. And treasure hunt symbols are in the eyes. Um, my kid loves it though, so that makes it worth it for me as long as he likes it. He likes it. So, probably because it's gold. So, okay. Next up, let's do the Porsche. This thing is sweet looking. Porsche 935. This thing's awesome looking in black and gold. I really like this car. <clears throat> so this is from F Case. Very mean looking 935. I really like it. I even like the wheels on it. I think it'll look cool on it. I think it's a good match. Porsche symbol in the front there. Meatball with the 70. That's it for detailing. Not, some, not headlights or taillights, but it's awesome looking. Nice gloss black. And then we have another 935. We got this blue one. Which is really nice looking as well. A couple flaws in the paint when I opened it. There's one on the roof you can see up there. And I believe there's one on this side here, right on that fender. But it's not too bad. A couple little marks in the paint. And that windshield has something on the inside of it. Like a scratch or something. You can see in the back windshield. But it's cool casting. Love the blue color. Good year on the fin. Bill Stein in the front. Very nice. Okay, and then when I found out from the comments today, and you guys let me know that this was the super, so hopefully I didn't leave it. There was three or four more other ones of this car, but who knows. This one's really cool looking. Volkswagen. Did a good job on this one. I love the paint on it. I think I only have one other one of this casting. If I even have another one, I don't even know if I have one of this. I'm going to have to look. Not a casting I'll go out of my way to collect, but I like this one. I thought the color was really awesome. <clears throat> Number 44. Pretty cool. So we got TV series Batmobile. And this is missing the airbags out of back. The other one was had everything. This one, they must have forgot to put it in and it fell out or something. But you don't really notice it, so. Looks good to me. Well, it's pretty cool. I think I have an older version of this in my collection somewhere. I have to look. I don't go crazy over any Batmobiles, really, but I grabbed this one. Because I wasn't sure if I had a version of it or not. <laughs> <clears throat> but that one's pretty cool. Next up, we got the Knight Rider, the kit. Super Pursuit Mode. This thing's really cool. I really like this car. This is nice. Push 
pushed out front. And it opened up back. Really cool. You got you even got the Knight Rider steering wheel in there. Looks cool. Somewhat of it anyway. Yeah. I was glad to find this. I only have one of these, I believe. <clears throat> one or two. <clears throat> Okay, next up we got the Mercedes, 2019 Mercedes, awesome looking little casting, yellow, <clears throat> really cool looking, I really like it. Nice tampa work in the front and the back. Okay, next one is that Nissan Proto Z. It's pretty cool looking. Another one fully tampo front and back. Another nice yellow color. I think this one has more of a metallic in it. Yeah, it has a little bit of a metallic. This one does not. Pretty cool looking car. Don't know anything about it. At all. So It's the first I've ever seen it or heard of it. <clears throat> Okay, and then next up we have an Acura, 1990 Acura NSX in blue. Did this one really nice. Check black interior and the rims. Looks really cool. Full tampa work in the back. Nicely done. It's a nice gloss blue color. No flake, no nothing in it. Next up, we have the Mazda RX-3, which is really cool looking. And it's nice gloss black, and yellow and green. Castrol number three. The meatball, chrome base, black interior. I like this car a lot. It really looks nice. Need some uh, front end work done though to break that up. And then it'll be perfect. And the back too. Nice little car. <laughs> I mean, this was an older one I opened up. This is a 70, I believe. I can't read. It's a chrome base. I'm pretty sure it's a 70 Cuda. <clears throat> Convertible. Love that color. I got this in the box for the um, traveling diecast, which I still have to make a video for. We had a, a couple days of good weather, but I didn't have time to do it, so I'm hoping to get it in this week. But the weather before this has been crappy. Today's okay. It wasn't the best. It's windy as hell today. Um, so I am definitely still have plans to do that video and get that done. And then I have a bunch, two or three cars already added to that box. Send out to the next person. So <clears throat> I kept this one out of the box. All right. Next up, we have this beautiful red 55 Chevy. 
This thing looks awesome. Beautiful color, just like the blue one, both beautiful colors. Nice tan interior, looks great. Full tampa work on the front. You got tampa work on the sides. Just not in the back, but that's okay. Very nice casting. Okay, and then next up we have 57 Chevy. Which is really cool too. I love this car too. This one I think is a lot better than the red one. I still think that. Even after opening it. I like this gold color. I like the wheels. I know a lot of people don't, but it does need a wheel swap. Pretty sure Sammy's sending me one. That's the one I'm going to customize, I believe. Oh, this one's really cool. <clears throat> nice gold color. Okay. And we got the three red editions. I opened them up. The Moon Eyes 56 Ford F100. Awesome. And this matte black with the moon eyes and the red. I love it. Did a great job on this red edition. Really nice. I'm very happy with this one. Glad I got it. Okay. And next up, we got the Honda Civic Type R. Really nice. Full tampo work front and back. And of course, the red color. And they all say red somewhere. I never noticed that until just now. They all have a red somewhere. I don't know if that's always been like that or what. Probably has. I just never noticed it. Today I noticed it on the truck. And I started looking. You see it right there. There it is on the back of that one. Um, and it was on the side panel here on this one. Right there. Red. <clears throat> nice little casting. Looks good. And then the real popular one that everybody's going to be wanting. I got so many hits on Instagram for people wanting to buy these off of me. It's unbelievable. I think I got 10 already now. I'm up to. This truck's awesome. But I don't sell die cast. I bought all the extras for buddies of mine. They were already gone before I even got them. There it says red right there on the panel there in the bottom. But this 83 Silverado Red Edition is awesome. <clears throat> I just kept one. Gave all the other ones away. <clears throat> Don't need more than one. One's good enough. I have an extra green one, I believe, to customize. So, that's the one I would customize anyway. I wouldn't customize a red edition. But, that'll do it, guys. That's all the ones I opened today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, put one out tomorrow. We'll open some more cars up. I think I have some packages coming in soon. A couple people. So, I might go through those soon. Alright, everybody. Take care. Thanks for watching, subbing. Have a great night.